In this video, I'm going to be adapting one of our previous blueprints to use Open Router instead of calling Anthropic Claude directly. Usually this would take a lot of time manually updating all of the references, copying and pasting everything from the old blueprint to the new one. I'm going to show you some advanced tips on how to do this using a combination of the DevTools extension and also by actually hacking the blueprint. Open Router is a great service that allows you to swap back and forth between many models very, very quickly. They even have free models that we can call. So you can use these instead of paying money for Claude or OpenAI. Really importantly, they have built-in resilience. So they have this automatic fallback. We can make it so that if Open Router cannot get a response from Claude, it will automatically fall back to using GPT-4.0. So overall, Open Router offers a lot of advantages and I'm showing you how to adapt your blueprints to use this quite quickly. And by the way, we're not sponsored by Open Router in any way, but it's a good service to use. It's very cost effective. You can add credits and let's say you want to add $10 worth of credits. The only charge that they add on top is that they add a 5% charge for your credits, as well as a small fee of 35 cent here. But actually calling Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the same price as if you're calling it directly from Anthropic. And you can also even add your own keys. Let's say you have lots of credit within your Anthropic or OpenAI accounts, you can add your keys directly to here as well. Before I explain how to adapt your scenarios to use Open Router, then first off, check the video linked in the description where I explain how to set up an Open Router account, how to make your first test connection just to understand how it works, how to select a model, and how to add credit to your account. Once you have an Open Router account, then let's get started. And by the way, if you want to get access to all of our make.com blueprints, then check out the link in the description to our community. We'll get access to all of our automation templates, including the one in this video, as well as online active discussions for support, weekly workshops, and online courses. I have this blogin system blueprint that's currently calling Claude directly through Anthropic. It's researching articles through Perplexity, publishing them to WordPress with good formatting, YouTube videos, Flux1 images, and internal linking. Now we're going to call Claude 3.5 Sonnet through Open Router instead of calling it directly through Anthropic, which will allow us to very quickly switch between different models, different providers. And if Open Router cannot respond with a valid response, using Claude 3.5 Sonnet, it will fall back to another model. In my settings here, I have added GPT-4.0 as the default model, and it will automatically revert to GPT-4.0 if it cannot give us a response using the Claude model. I've already set up my Open Router account. Check out the link in the description below where I explain how to set it up, how to add credit to your account, and how to add the connection to make.com. When you've done that, simply add in this Open Router module. If you've called Claude or OpenAI directly from make.com, you'll find this kind of interface very, very familiar, where you have a system role and a user role. In this case, you can select your models. I'll just start very quickly here, which is to replace this article outline with Open Router. To do this quickly, I'm going to use the make.com dev tools, and I'm going to try this swap app feature. It's definitely not going to be as easy as that, but it will speed things up. So I've gone into this. I'm going to make a clone of this scenario. I'm going to call this copy. I'm going to select save. So now I have two copies of this automation on the go. If you do not have this make.com dev tool, just go to the Chrome web store, make.com dev tool, select install. Then when you are in your make.com scenario, press control, shift and I, or from Mac, I think, command shift and I maybe, and this will show up. Actually, you will see something like elements and select make at the top right. In fact, when you see this, it might be anchored to the right hand side of the screen. So select the three dots icon at the top and you can select this icon here to undock it into a separate window, which is kind of handy to have. Right, select the two arrows icon here if you do not see make and then select make, then go to tools, then you'll see there are multiple tools. A lot of people don't realize that this dev tools feature exists. It's pretty handy. I will try to swap the app. So the app to be replaced is Anthropic Claude and I want to swap this. So 1.2.7, so just select the default version. I want to change this to open router, select version 1.0 and select run. We're getting this module not found error, which is not ideal to say the least. It's trying to map it to this create a message, which does not exist. Let's see if we can kind of hack this. I'm going to go back to this original scenario here. We could manually remap all of these, but it is quite awkward to do so. So let's try and be a bit smarter about this. I'll go to this different scenario I had here where I was just testing out the open router connection. And I'm going to export this as a blueprint. I'm going to open that up into this. I'm using Visual Studio, but if you do not have that, this will open up in Notepad probably. This is expecting a create a chat completion. Whereas 
When I try and export this blueprint, if I change that model, go to track completion. So I'll go into this, press Control H. This is what I'll replace. So I'll do a fine replace of all of those and replace all. So we have this create a chat completion. So I've saved this. This is just an attempt to just fix the module name and see if open router then shows up. I'll go to scenarios. I'll create a new scenario. I'll select the blueprint. All right, I've selected my blueprint. I'll press save. Okay, we are actually getting somewhere. So that's pretty good. Now we need to choose a connection for every single one of these. We can also do that via make dev tools. So swap connection. So source modules of create a chat completion, then target module. So I'm going to choose my first connection for this. So I've chosen my first connection. I can then copy this to all of the others. But let's see what information has gone through. We have a model name from the original cloud, which is pretty good. However, we are missing some of these other items. Let's go back into our blueprint. All right, we're nearly there. What I want to do is instead of having to copy and paste every single one of these from the old scenario, into the new scenario, I'll just compare the blueprints. On this basic example, when I exported this blueprint, I can see the format that Open Router wants, which is this. So we have a slightly different format of message and content and role than we have for, if I search for create a chat completion, it's like so. So the only difference, we have messages. This is the original. This is the new messages. And the only difference here is that Claude has this extra part here whereas open router just does not have this type. So if we delete this from every single one of these, I'm going to do it manually. You could probably get ChatGPT to do this, but I will do it for each of these and then it should import correctly. So I'll get rid of this text, get rid of the type, so I'll remove this, remove that. Finally, get rid of these extra parts there. Go to the next one, go down here. So we're getting rid of everything, get rid of all of these, getting rid of the comma, removing this text part, that. removing, removing this square, Removing that square bracket, it's okay. Do the exact same thing down here. Remove the comma at the end, remove all of this. Same for this, just removing the text. We could build a Python script or something like that to replace these automatically. I will manually do it for now because I want to make sure this works. Okay, I think I'm done with that. I'm gonna press save. I'm going to attempt to re-import this scenario again. Select save. All right, now I select my connection and perfect. We have content. We this has copied over the content from the previous cloud automation to this, which is fantastic. In order to copy this open router connection to the other modules, instead of having to manually select every connection, open up your dev tools again, go to make, go to tools and then swap connection. So we're gonna select module 87, which is what this is. See 87 there. So go all the way down and just type in 87 and then press run. And that will automatically copy that connection to all of the others, which is very, very useful. So that's good. I'm going to save that. There is one final issue is that this is not, the output of this is not in the same format as we would have originally got from Claude. In order to swap over these variables, we need to press save and we're going to run this. Really importantly, you need to select the model name you're going to use and to enable automatic fallback. If you're not using a variable, you can just select each of these modules and then I'm going to type in Claude 3.5. You can select Claude 3.5 Sonnet. A trick here is that you can select this in one place. I'm going to create a variable. So go to map, copy this out, and then within the variable at the start, I have model name here. I'm going to change this to Anthropic Claude. And then from there, I've selected map and I'll reference the model name from the tools over here, which is referenced in this variable. That means in every module here, we have model name reference, which is very handy. If you want to change the model that you want Open Router to respond with, just change that there in this tools. Then you only need to change it in one place. Then within the preference of your Open Router account, go to the top right and go to settings. As this default model, I've selected GPT-4.0 as the default model. As yes is enabled by default for automatic fallback. If this cannot get a response using any of the cloud model providers, it's going to fall back to OpenAI's GPT-4.0, which means that it will not stop the scenario. We will at least get some output. So I'll press OK and press Save. In order to properly map the data here, we need to get some example data out from here. So we need to know what the output is like. Instead of, we could select run this module only, we need to add dummy data in here. What I'm just going to do, which would be easier, is to press Save. I'll go to this Airtable base, which is the starting trigger for this automation, and I'll just I've just duplicated this row, I'm going to select that to ready for outline. And now I'm going to run this automation. Press run once. That is calling perplexity to come up with an article outline. Then here, Claude is going to 
process that outline, but it will error out when we get to here because it's not properly mapped. Okay, so we got a response from Perplexity. We have this article outline. Excellent. We've got a response from Claude, which is good. However, it's not mapped from here. Easiest thing to do here would just be to replace this and select choices, message, and content from this. We would have to do that for every single reference to every single one of these, which I really do not want to do. So I'll press Control, Shift, and I, go to Make as well, go to Tools. So let's look at this swap variable option here. You can find, find all occurrences of the given variable across the whole scenario or in one module and replaces them with the new one. So let's just compare. This was the original response, but we now want this choices message content. Let's copy this out to Notepad, and this is what it looks like. We want to replace all of these occurrences with this, and we want to do it for every single module in the scenario. So we'll delete that again. Press OK, go back to the dev tools. All right, so let's say we have this variable, 87 text response, and replace it with that. I think this is only going to work for this one module. Select run. OK, it worked for that. It likely does not work for this. I'll change that back to what it was. If you're doing this yourself, you will probably find it easiest to just go through each one of those and select choices, message, and content. And then you will be able to manually map each of those. Because I'm lazy, I'm going to export this blueprint again. OK, I've opened this up. As we see here, we have this text response. I want to check all of these. So we have this text response. I simply want to change all the mappings of text response. If I press find and if I type in text re type in text response, I see I have 20 occurrences, which looks right based on the amount of Claude modules I have here. So I'm going to find and replace that with this. So I'm going to press Control H, probably Command and H on Mac, and I will select replace all. Now I'm going to find every occurrence of those. That looks pretty good. Right, we've replaced it in all places. Press save. Now, once again, import that new blueprint, the newest version, press save. And let's have a look at this. Okay, this looks good, it's mapped that. Now when we look at any references, the original reference to Claude of text response is now referencing the message content of open router correctly. I'll press okay, press save. Now let's try this again. Now I'm testing this scenario out and testing all of these modules and I've moved this to ready for article generation. Now it's going through this entire flow. So I'm going to test many of these Claude modules at once. I realize that it's coming up with this error. So what we need to do is just go into each of these modules, press OK. You know, every single one of them, just press OK. OK, OK. And the same for this. Now press save. So I've just tested this first flow and it works correctly. We've updated the Airtable base and we've got the correct response. Now I'm going to test this process end to end. I'll click run once. I selected ready for article generation. It's now going through this flow. It's extracted sources. Okay, this is looking good. It's about to generate a content image. All the responses so far are looking good. It's now going through this write article prompt. So in this case, it's gone to Anthropic directly, whereas previously it's gone to Amazon Bedrock, Amazon Bedrock, Amazon Bedrock. So it's it's calling the same Claude model, but it's calling different sources at different times for load balancing, which is pretty cool. Now we've finally created the post. So it's gone through this entire process. Let's have a look at the post that's been uploaded onto this test website. That's an AI generated image from Flux1. There you go, we have the full article generated with sources and there's currently no internal linking in here because I did not actually include this within the variable at the start, but that is included within this blueprint, as you can see from our original video that you can see in the description. And we have down article generated, we have the article linked, featured image, and then, then the social media posts are created so that then you can go through this process afterward, move this to push to socials. Then when the automation runs again, it goes down through this and pushes it to all the social networks. There we go. That's a hack for how to effectively swap out many Claude or OpenAI or any large language model modules that you have within make.com and swap those out for open router connections that will work in your scenario without having to spend all day long manually remapping everything. And if you want to get way ahead in your AI automation journey, then check out the link in the description to our community. We'll get access to all of our automation templates, including the one in this video. You can get your questions answered through our active discussions or via our live workshops where you can talk to us directly and you get access to all of these courses when you sign up.